Fantasies are fun, but sometimes the line between fantasy and reality is blurred. The images of the dream world in that respect are not innocent. They are not just images. The stories they tell are firmly implicated in the gender and sexual power relations of our society. been known to say that it might be a man's world, but women rule the bedroom. However, in her most recent book, Female Chauvinist Pigs, Ariel Levy makes a case for how that just might not be a good thing after all. She documents the rise of what she calls ranch culture, basically women using their bodies and their sexualities as a tool of empowerment. However, the way she sees it is that they're just kidding themselves. What it comes down to is that as long as they're doing that, their sexuality might be taken seriously, but that's all about them that will be taken seriously. I'm holding out on Eric. I'm holding out on Donna. Donna, that's great! Oh, Foreman, that's hysterical! <laughs> so, so how long, long has it been? been? Three, Three of the longest, longest days, days of, of my, my life. life. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I should, I should just, just cave. cave. No! no! Hey, if you cave, she owns you. When he caves, you own him. <laughs> Foreman, sex is how women control men. Donna, sex is how we control men. If they ever find out we wanted to, we'll never get jewelry again. If women actually want to get to a place in society where they're going to be considered the equals of men, then they're going to have to do it in a way that men do it. Now, of course, you might argue that a woman is a man, isn't a man. And no, she isn't. She's very different, both biologically and psychologically, not to mention culturally. Nature and nurture has caused a lot of tension between the two of them, as we have different natures and different nurture experiences. How does this translate into sexual politics? Well, think of it this way. What if the playing field is just like a hunting ground? Well, in that case, there's no equality for women if they just make themselves a very attractive piece of prey. Thus far, men have been behaving like the predators. They've been chasing down the objects of their desire. And if women actually want to reach a point in society and on the level of sexual politics where they feel and are represented as men's equal, then they're going to have to turn that around and become the hunter rather than the hunted. I write a column called Sex and City. Right now I'm researching an article about women who have sex like men. You know, they have sex and then afterwards they feel nothing. Kurt. <laughs> wow, what are you doing here? Hey, babe. God, you look gorgeous. Thanks. So, have you seen anyone special? Not really. You? Oh, just a couple guys. But you look good, though. So do you. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing later? Yeah, I, I thought you weren't talking to me for the rest of your life. Who said anything about talking? <sighs> what do you say to my place? Three o'clock. All right. See you there. My turn. Oh, sorry. I have to go back to work. Hmm. What, are you kidding? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, completely. But I'll give you a call. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Yeah. But... As I began to get dressed, 
I realized that I'd done it. I just had sex like a man. Hey. Hey. Lucky me, twice in one week. Well, I don't know if you're going to be getting that lucky. You know, I was really pissed off the way you left the other day. You were? Yeah. And I thought, how great. You finally understand the kind of relationship I really want. Now we can have sex without commitment. Yeah. Right. Sure, I guess. So, whenever I feel like it, I'll give you a call. Yeah, please. I mean, whenever you feel like it, if I'm alone, I'm all yours. Right. <laughs> I like this new you. Call me. Yep. I didn't understand. Did all men secretly want their women promiscuous and emotionally detached? And if I was really having sex like a man, why didn't I feel more in control? Can't we just have one drink? Oh, it might be fun. They're gone. Oh. Huh. Well, problem solved. 20 minutes later, we were out of the dark and into the light. Isn't this amazing? It's like a postcard for the 20s. You couldn't have had one drink. What's the harm in having one drink? I can't believe you're still upset about that. What role did you think those guys were going to play in our lives? Who knows? We might have hit it off. Oh, come on. Let's look at the odds. Realistically, how many guys do we ever hit it off with? Very few. And even if we do, those relationships don't last. And even if they did, men die first. So we're right back where we started. I say we skip all the drama and just enjoy each other's company. Now. Are you ready for the final gender challenge? Who makes more money? I do. Who enters Ironman triathlons every year and wins? I do. Who secretly wishes they were married to a hot, sexy lesbian? I do. I do. It's Tara! What do you think feminists are? Lesbians. A lesbian. <laughs> Probably militant, angry women trying to get their way in the world. What I think a feminist is? Yeah. I'm going to have to just go with the lesbian thing. I used to hear about feminists being as like women who hate men and want to be lesbians. That's how I got it when I first heard it. Usually, I think of a man-hating woman. <laughs> Honestly, I think of man-haters, you know, equal rights, but it's someone that's angry.